All right, so it's Tuesday, almost Wednesday, and we are, we are, two days and eight hours before the next one. Update 9 is up for quite some time, so I think it's finally time to conclude our update and to give my opinion. And I started my gameplay with performance overlay from NVIDIA on the right side. And it's really important in this video and I'm gonna explain you why in a second. And to be honest, something really strange happened. I don't even know if it's true, but I, I really want to believe it. Um, the last time about update 8, I was bitching about it. I was pretty loud about it. But to be honest, I didn't bother to write anything on Steam. I just made my video. I just told you what I think and yeah, pretty much that's it. And what's so special about it? I brought a light, just a glimpse of light to one issue, which I think it's really, and it always was really important. Cause as you can probably see, my base is pretty huge. It's only one part of my base. I got another on my uh, beach area and on my snow area and I got zip line connected from the beach to the mountains uh, with pretty much built every station. It's not empty, it's not just a rope and some wood, no, it's pretty much full. And my game was laggy. So in this previous video I said something about... Um, performance issues I said something about you know guys stop fixing my water quality stop fixing birds flying or optimizing some aspects like trees snow falling from the trees nobody cares about it all I want is to build my base to expand my base even further so please do what probably most of us want hey little birdie Oh, screw you. I really want to expand my base and I was stuck as you can see with NVIDIA GeForce 3060 at probably 38 FPS and then I switched my every probably single uh, thing related to my graphic off and I put my quality into fucking calculator and I gained Probably 5 FPS, maybe I didn't get anything, but I think it was about 5 FPS, which is, which is pretty sad. And the point of this game is, at least for me, to expand, to build on the same save. So every time I start a new game, I was sure I'm gonna reach the point where it's basically useless I need to start over and over and over again because it's too loggy I can't do anything to be honest I try to fix it on my own I try to change some options as well it's not working so I'm I was stuck with it I will reach eventually I will reach this point so I told myself now I'm not playing anymore maybe in the future if they fix it maybe I will get back to it I don't know but at this point with my well with me spreading across the island it's not playable it's not enjoyable I'm not gonna play it that was probably it about this video I was crying about it and I think that somebody from end night actually actually saw my video and was like all right Maybe we need to fix it, or maybe just maybe um, Sons of the Forest uh, community were bitching about it, were crying about it all the times, and I, don't know, I have no idea because I'm not really reading anything about it, not really, not really joining into um, any sorts of discussion about this game. I'm just checking the news, I'm just seeing what's up and occasionally playing so how should i know but i think that's on me correct me if i'm wrong and to be honest i think that's on me but if not it's not a point it's not a point i think if somebody from end night 
so my video with the guy with 100 almost 180 uh, subscribers making some Lara Croft and Horizon and other games videos using modes if somebody from end night saw my small channel well I gotta respect that I really gotta respect that it looks like well I don't know I don't wanna go too far but it looks like they do really care about small channels they just saw it I have no idea how many views have this video right now let me check it very quick all right so my opinion on the new update sons of the forest update 8 I got 64 views all right um hmm I really thought it's gonna be more but okay Probably in those 65 are you little simple Joe sitting on your ass and checking maybe checking what the people gotta say about you your game you know just simple guy sitting over there doing his job I don't know <laughs> I saw this 65 and I'm not really sure about it but if it is the case just Joe let me know please I I just want to know it. If you if you really give a fuck about small YouTubers, if you really um, open the, so to some kind of um, insights, that would be that would be really awesome. You know what? Compare it to let's compare it to Activision, where the biggest, probably the biggest and the greatest player are bitching about something, and they openly say, "No, you know what?" I hear you, okay, that's fine, I hear you, but I don't give a fuck, nah, mm, we think that's better, nobody cares about you, fuck you. Imagine yourself buying a game, spending probably 69 now, dollar, 69 euro or, or US dollars, never mind, on a game, you wanna play it, you want to be, you want this game to be, well, the best experience for you and for pro no, you probably doesn't give a fuck about other players but for you let's stick to you and then you're like no nah, this feature is trash your last update is complete trash so you're bitching online okay that's that's pretty pretty okay thing to do because if you're bitching if you're crying about something they gonna fix it if you're just sucking them off, if you just stand, if you just sit there and oh my god, this game is amazing. Of course, yeah, give your opinion. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Fine. But nothing gonna be done this way. So you can enjoy a game and still you can bitch about it. You can cry about it. So imagine yourself sitting over there and telling them, you know what? You need to do something about maps. They are trash. And they're like, nah, we think our game is awesome. It's your fault. Fuck off. So, so I don't think that's the case with End Night. And even though, even if I'm telling complete bullshit right now, the thought about somebody from End Night actually listening to me, to us, to, to, to players, it's actually keeping me warm at night. So whatever was the reason behind it, I'm really glad you f you find out you really fixed it. If it wasn't me, it w if it was somebody else, that's good, that's great. And you know what, you should work more on it. So with that being said, I think I already said too much about my number one point, but I'm I want to present you just a little bit but I want to present you just a small ev evidence. So every time I was teleporting, I'm using teleporting mod, by the way. Uh, every time I was teleporting uh, anywhere at my base, it took a long time to render. Every single log, every single thing I placed right here, it took, it took forever. To render so when I skipped to one point and I was recording I had to stand still for I don't know maybe 10 
to 15 seconds and after that it was okay now i can move and i can now now i can move at my probably 38 maybe 30 uh, well no wait 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 it was it was below 30 fps so i was like okay yeah it's playable but it's not enjoyable and now i'm jumping across it it's rendering just fine and i still got my fucking 42 44 50 53 and it's rising fps and i'm so glad finally i'm so fucking glad about it and even high up when i used to have probably the lowest fps ever in this game it's working great it's working great and uh how to even test it more you know what i need to switch my gameplay to uh winter time because winter time was really hard uh i'm on day 77 i'm not really playing on this save anymore and as i told you before i left this game a few weeks ago um 77 yeah and also i got the longest uh, day setting ever so <laughs> it's gonna take me some time to um it's gonna take me some time to reset to winter time but instead i'm gonna cheat just a little bit i don't remember i don't really remember how to do it so here we are at winter time which was really catastrophe and let me enter my base from this side. Okay, I got snow on every single thing, I think. So, let me go over there. I got 42, 45. Can you give me? Oh, thank you for a stick. Yeah, that's really kind of you. Um, I got 45 till... Hello, buddy to 50 fps as well so it looks like the weather doesn't really change anything which is amazing finally i can play i can enjoy my game at winter time which to be honest is pretty cool it's pretty nice and yeah 47 fps let me teleport here okay 32 small drop 50 49 I don't want to go this way I don't want to go this way So we are at my pitch base and it wasn't really looking good it wasn't really doing it good at winter time and as you can see solid well, almost solid 50 50 53 well it's doing better than my main base all right that's something new let me teleport somewhere between or maybe here in the middle of all of it 48 it's actually better so uh about your optimization it's great point number one i need to tell you this you did a fucking great job finally okay i need to f I add finally but it's a fucking great job. Now I can get back to my game, to my original save, to play with it. And I got few ideas. I think we are going to build another tower somewhere over there and connect it. Maybe twin towers, maybe the third one after the, afterwards. I don't know. Maybe somewhere over there on this side where the, when this, where the sun reflects on the lake. So I think that concludes point number one. Let me get to another one, to something really interesting. And to be honest, I need to say finally again, because here we are with my body. And as you, as you know, my body were able to, to carry radius. Now I can do it too, since update number eight. But it was really pointless, because... Because I can carry it, okay, fine. It doesn't really affect Virginia or anybody. 
that's amazing, but still, I couldn't place it, so why the hell should I even care about it? And now I can press the middle mouse button and place it right here. Alright, let me turn it on. It's working. Hey, you, come over here. Alright, you can use a window. Oh, it wasn't supposed to be a window, never mind. You see, it's working. Hello. Wanna dance to something else? Right, you can do it. Okay, let me switch a channel. And I can't do it. I need to pick it up again. First, switch channels. No. 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 Alright, I like it. Um, I'm sorry. Um, okay, you need to fix this one. I can't really do anything about my radio at this state. I can, I, I can of course... Uh, mm, I think you need to fix it again. I can't really do anything about radio at this state. I need to pick it up again, switch the channel and... If I put it back on my table, I need to switch it on again and the music is different so I need to just wait to switch to another station which is dumb so. So you did a great job, I like it, fine, but still you need to fix it even more further. Never mind, let me, let me just simple walk away in shame and switch to the other topic. I don't know about you guys, but I love returning things in sequels. Oh, you're dead already? You were supposed to show... Ah, oh, Jesus. Your place was to stay over there and let me talk and present yourself. Never mind. As I was saying, I really enjoy returning things uh, in sequels, especially the things that are pretty good. Like, for example, Update 8 gave us RMC back. Well, you have to finish your game first, but still, it's something. Hey, look at me. Oh, yeah, you big boy, you big angry boy. Wanna jump? Well, basically, he can, he can jump right now. I didn't even notice he was... He wasn't able to do it. Alright, you pretty weak. I don't like you, but I like the idea. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we got another one. Um, I was actually uh, looking for it a long time and then I saw, saw it on... Was it a video? Uh, it was probably a video, so I'm happy about it. I'm gonna show you right now. You can uh, copy it. No, wait. I saw a guy who was talking about it, but he he refused to provide an info, so I was digging deep, and I probably found it on Steam. No, on Reddit. Oh, anyways, uh, here you go. You're not able to copy it, but creepy Virginia, so that's it. Alright, enter. Hello, be- Oh, you're not so beautiful. So, uh, Virginia... It's your mom, I think. It's a previous virgin. Uh -huh. it's fucking ugly. Hey, I'm here. Ow. Oh, she's powerful. All right. Um, yeah, I'm here. You know. Ah, oh, she can jump. Okay. So, uh, just like the previous one. <laughs> Jump, jump again. She's much more powerful than Ormsi. Have to admit. Alright. Do you like arrows? Nope. Did 
I just did I just hit the nipple? I I hit the nipple. Uh, where are you? Hello, where are you? Somewhere right here. And, and I need to clear space. And uh here's your mama. That's her. Wow. Well, it doesn't seem like you family fight. Oh. Yeah, what's up? Uh, as I said, well, she's not enjoying family reunions. Uh, let me skip to the next part. Right, let's do it pretty far away from home. Uh, you. Okay, she's screaming and thank God her tits are... Let me know. So, do we are again? Hello? Mm -hmm. ah! Yeah, that's me. Um, well, ah! one of her titty isn't really covered, so I'm not gonna stick. <sighs> I'm not gonna go get any closer. So basically, it's the same as Fat Cannibal, but female version. All of the girls want to have their um, female repre representation, so. Here we go. Um, that's pretty weird, cause I <laughs> I hoped just a little bit for somebody else, but all right. So it's this lady. She's fat. She's she's bald, and she's gonna attack me the same way. Let me let me just stop. What the? Let me just stop. Okay, attack me. With your titty, attack me. <laughs> just jump, jump. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Just like this. Okay, jump, jump, jump. <laughs> and uh, as the guy, she's pretty weak. So here we go, a female representation of the red fat man. But to be honest, I have no idea why you chose this one. But I hope you're happy. I'm happy. All right, let's move on. So the next one is going to be pretty simple. I'm gonna show you new traps uh, and it's in here in your survival book. Traps. Um, site number four. And it's quite expensive. I don't know how it, why it's called silent trap. It's not silent at all. Alright, let me finish it. Let me build it right now. So, as you can see, I can't really trigger it, I can't do anything, well, except changing its place. But, if you got yourself a cannibal, right here. Now you can see it's not that... Where are you going? Now you can see it's not really that silent, but, but it's not killing them. Maybe that's the case. Right, so I already... You can simply reset your. You can simply reset your trap by, um. You know how. You know how. All right. I don't need it. I don't need it right here. But ah, screw it. But I was about to trap an um, armsy, so it might be helpful. What? I'm gonna try it and. I'm gonna record it probably. Alright, let me go to the next one. And as we are standing right here, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So I'm full, I can even add all items. All items. Alright, so I'm full right now, I got everything I need. But, I still wanna open one of those. 
And now I'm able to do it. It's not locked. I can't really collect it because I'm full already. But I can easily open it. So I can't take it, can't take it. So it's gonna be on the floor, as you can see. And the same thing is with any boxes. All right, so I am able to loot it. Everything is going to be on the floor. Not only one item, everything. I can loot everything. That's amazing. That's something I wanted to see for a long time, especially with Poach, because it was really annoying. I was looking for energy drink, but I was full uh, on, for example, an energy boss or wire. I can't do shit. Never mind, I probably died like this one or two times. Thank you. So the next one, and I think that's pretty important, adding an option to the controls option page that allows the player to adjust the speed at which the inventory camera pans, tilt, and the fuck doesn't even mean. Never mind. Um, you were able to do it with the mode. I'm just really happy you added to the game. That's amazing. Um. Let me go to my options and let me show you real quick what it is about. So let's press escape, uh, options, let's go to controls and you are able to uh, adjust inventory speed sensitivity. So basically it's around somewhere here. But let's speed it up to the max and then let's open inventory. Well, at first, nothing changes, as you can see, nothing interesting, but let me go to the right and let's, I, you see what I'm talking about, and this, this is amazing, because it was a little too slow, I was about to, uh, I was uh, searching for something, I was like using my mouse, and I got my uh, mouse sensitivity on pretty low at my mouse so it was really annoying i love that idea so another point for you i think and to the right and to the left and to the right again and to the left again okay i love it i love it it works amazing all right let me skip to the next one so this one this one i needed since the first the forest Added a new bath place input. Pressing left shift or left stick, never mind. While placing ghosts, uh, now leaves the blueprint active. So you may place it again. And now all I need to do is press shift and build as many torches as I need finally look look how fucking quick is it right now oh, this place gonna burn this is amazing guys um i'm not gonna praise you once again no it should have it should have been since the beginning of the game, but screw it. I love it. I like it. I'm gonna enjoy it. So let's skip to the next one. So what we have here. Creepy enemies can now be exploded into chunks. <laughs> um, that's not something I need, but that's something I want to see. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why any other cannibal is able to explode, to be chopped, and I'm not really able to destroy you guys, I don't know, I don't really need it, uh, screw it, but uh, what I want to see, well now, maybe, let's let's leave it on ideas later, alright, I talked about this one, this one, this one, for anybody who needs it, you can now hold take to equip skulls directly from the pickup, um, wasn't it a thing? I have no idea. Uh, I told you about it. Arms, you can jump right now. I and 
console him only once, so I didn't even know it was a thing. Enemies killed by player traps now counts as killed by player. I don't really care, but I think that's great. And that's important. Added a change so that items cannot be stored in inventory when player does not have their backpack. I lost my entire save because of it. So added lock on multiplayer death respawn timer. Well, that's nice because the game couldn't be so easy, you know? You got a time you have to reach your point, maybe defeat uh, some enemies, and then you got your shit back. I agree. Well, it should be probably on... As some people would cry about it. Well, some people will cry about it. So I think it should be switchable in options. Maybe in several options, I don't know. This is something interesting. So basically, if you want to learn how to do it, you can do it right now. Okay, that's fine. Um, edit Vitals HUD visibility settings to option page and as well, um, global GUI. Um, I'm using mode to disable it. So I'm glad it's on the settings right now. Improved visual transition when getting onto zip line. Haven't really, haven't really noticed. I don't know. Is it a change? I don't know. Added an option to allow players to set if drops will trigger on players. Well, multiplayer. Yeah, that's important thing. The fly swatter and bone maker drops will do some damage to the player if they set them off. Well, yeah, it was pretty dumb. And to be honest, I really want to be it in options to switch it on or off. And the same with, uh, with the new radio trap. Some people want to trigger it, some people doesn't. So, should be in options, I think. All traps have been adjusted to be able to place on stepper slopes. Yes, finally. I didn't even know it was a thing, but okay, fine. So, as you can see, a lot of fixes, but most of them are just graphic fixes. Like, I don't know, it was a cooking lead somewhere and it's, it's showing now properly. Thinking it was the sound. Okay, that's stupid. Uh, turn in inventory. Alright. Not syncing currently on other players. Alright. This was actually pretty destroying my experience at the end. Added audio to demons burning from cross. It was like they were coughing just a little bit, but I think they were more like attacking me. That's why were they so so loud. The, they were so coughing, and they were also burning. And then they just dead. That's it. No voice. It was it was a missing piece. No, no, it was a small missing puzzle piece, and I was waiting for it to to change because it was like what the hell? They are burning. No sound, nothing. I got a cross. They are demons. They should scream as hell. I don't know. It was pretty. Mm, I don't know. Sad. It was pretty. It felt pretty empty. Um. So let's switch just a little bit to ideas. So the first idea was for radio. I want to place it, and then I want to be able to switch a channel. I can't do it. I want to do it. All right, the next one. Adding an option to the control option page. So about this one, you added something that I wanted. So looking some stuff at my inventory is much quicker right now. But the things that I want to have just a little bit quicker, I'm using a mode. Well, not all the time. I've built my entire um, I've built my entire tower without a mode, 
few buildings without a mode, but the rest was with mode because I'm not. I'm alone. I'm playing alone. Um, it's a single player game, so I'm not. I don't really have time to collect all the materials. And Kelvin, well, he's useful, but it takes. A lot of time for him to find some stones. So I use the mode. I use the console to give myself ability to have unlimited, unlimited um, locks and stones. And then I use a mode called build speed. It's amazing, but it crashes a lot. Well, so basically it skips the building animation and if you're building any stone wall, my god, it's 10 times quicker. So, I got a simple idea for you. Why don't you add another option, switchable option of course, and to speed up building process just a little bit. You know, like in the uh, in the first game, with all these ghosts, and then you just you was just clicking, and the log was over there. So it's just an idea. I would use it on big projects, and I'm back to this game because you fix my FPS. I could use something like that. Yeah, just to speed up my game. So the last thing, and let's make a wish. I would kill for some freeform building. You know what I mean? The game is pretty simple. X, Y, Z, that's it. And at the previous game, I was able to build probably any shape to build a fucking circle with free building. And I really want to see it. As let's leave it the game as it is but let me build some shapes you know i know there are many youtubers who trick the game just a little bit to build some circles build some irregular stuff but i don't have it at the game i don't want to build i don't know like one i don't want to waste one hour just to have some connection to my uh roof or to my floor i don't know like it's a big thing i guess but it would be really nice to say so if you got any more insights any more ideas i would gladly read them so leave a comment i don't, you know what i don't really care about likes but i do care about comments because well it's an interaction Okay, the numbers, I can see the views, I can see the likes, yeah, okay, that makes me feel better, okay, fine. But comments, if you do have any idea, if you do have any insight, if I forgot about something, if I said some bullshit, just leave a comment, I will gladly respond to every single one of it. I know I'm just a little tiny small channel, 179 or maybe 80 subscribers uh, right now. I'm really thankful for every single soul that is watching me. But still, comments. I, I would like to speak with you guys. Maybe you, or maybe not, not just maybe, you will probably give me some ideas. You will probably um, share something I don't know. Yeah, why not? Why not? Do it, please. And see you in probably two, two, three or four days. I don't know. I hope I won't be so fucking late like I'm, I am with this episode. So I'm busy. I'm working. YouTube isn't really my job. Well, it was. it would be really nice to be my job. But still, I'm... Well, it's all about me being pretty happy about what I do. Pretty open and yeah i'm exercising exercising my language skills and uh, yeah having fun most of the time i think well editing is hard but but sometimes i hear myself and yeah sometimes sometimes i gotta laugh so <laughs> yeah that's amazing it's got its uh upsides all right 
See you at the next one.